Dialing in on situational awareness here at T4 Tactics with Marco Galbraith, why each individual situation needs to be custom made. Let's check it out. So I do all kinds of training, but what I want to focus on today is active shooter response training. Uh, we, we do a complete plan for businesses, churches, schools, uh, universities, hospitals, any kind of facility. And what we're going to do is come in and do a building inspection. So while I'm doing that building inspection, I'm looking at things that need to be changed, mm. updated, I'm making suggestions. But what I'm also doing is looking at the facility because I'm going to create my training plan based on your facility, mm. on what do you do? What kind of clients do you have? Where are you located? What's across the street? What's down the street? All that's the big picture. I see. Um, going to come in and do uh, three and a half hours of training. That's going to cover everything you can imagine in active shooter attacks. I do it differently because... Uh, I, I see problems where local law enforcement, state law enforcement agencies, uh, I've been law enforcement, so I, under, I, so I can say this. I know that these guys and girls that are police officers have it in their heart to teach it right, but they don't have the resources to do it right. Mm. But people think because they have that title behind their name or an agency that it's going to be done right. And there are some shortcomings strictly because law enforcement, state and local are completely overwhelmed. They don't have the time to do it like I do as a private business. And like you mentioned, you were previous law enforcement. Mm -hmm. So I mean, having those very specific real encounters with active shooter survivors. Right. So why is it so important to make each situation unique? Because every active shooter attack is unique. Mm -hmm. We have to understand that it's a huge big picture and it has to be every Every location has to be looked at specifically as to what they do. And then what I do is come in and create a training uh, for that. It also, when I'm doing my active shooter presentation, when I can talk and say, if I've seen the facility and I'm, I'm speaking to every employee there doing the training, if I say, you know how when you walk down the hallway by the bathrooms and the break room is across the hall? Well, there's a, you know, when I mm. say that, it brings them in. Okay, this guy is, this, this is specific for me, so I'm going to be on board with it. Mm -hmm. And it gives me the chance to do a better presentation. The main thing we want to do is reduce injuries and save lives, but we also want to reduce civil liability and criminal liability mm -hmm. for business owners. OSHA says, uh, general duty clause, you have to protect your employees from a known recognized hazard. Active shooter is a known recognized hazard. It's got to be done. So how do you bridge the gap? I mean, I've heard a lot of people talking, I'm not going to go to this event X, Y, Z because it's too big. I'm mm -hmm. too afraid of what's going to happen. So when they're in this training course and leaving, what is that difference? Yeah, good question. We don't teach fear or paranoia. I'm simply delivering a product that's going to give you the confidence, skill, education to look at a venue location and say, if this was to happen, this is what I'm going to do. That's why I'm not locked into run, hide, fight. Mm -hmm. I, I personally believe through visiting these 14 locations, and I'm going to go out to Buffalo next month and I'm going to Indianapolis uh, next week to talk to these people, sit them down and say, what happened with this? So that's why I'm not a fan of run, hide, fight or avoid, deny, defend. I teach it on a different platform that when you go to an event, you need to have in your head, if this happens, over there, this is where I'm going. And there's a bathroom that I can get into that locks. Or if this happens, there's an exit and that's where we're gonna go. After the presentation, I'll go to individual workstations if the, if the employee wants and we'll sit down and say, this is your workstation, this is your cubicle. Let's talk about if it happens over here, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this. If we walk them through it, the human brain is more likely to respond accordingly. The brain's not going to take us somewhere where we haven't thought. The body's not going to take us somewhere where the brain hasn't thought about going before. So we walk people through it. This is what you do. This is what you do. That's how we reduce injuries and save lives. It's a scary topic. I get it. It's very scary. But we have to come in and make people feel comfortable that, you know what? I have a plan. It's confidence. And it's, it's having a, a plan on what I'm going to do if this happens. But the main priority is... We want to shut it down before it happens. Threat assessment team, risk management, not a hostile work environment, uh, open communication with the employees, and, and a threat can come from in external or internal. So we have to look for that. T4 Tactics is located at 22634-A on Timberlake Road. Their hours are Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. For more information on active shooter training, firearm safety, and more, visit T4Tactics.com or call Marco Galbraith at 434-444-5522.